Thank you very much for being here this morning. And I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Gloria Su. I'm the founding partner of uh, uh, this company called Almond Tech Private Limited. So my company, it's a sales company that helps software company to launch the business in Southeast Asia. So it is a sales company that I hire salespeople representing them in the, in the Southeast Asia. So one of them right now that I'm actively involved is in Manila. And how am I involved in this uh, particular event is because Renosis is my client. Thank you very much, Ari, for this opportunity. Right, so moving forward, I'd like to actually share with you um, the next person who's going to be speaking this event, okay, and to start off is actually community building. Now, as you know, even entrepreneurs, you know, need to actually have a community of people in order to succeed because the entrepreneurship journey is a very lonely journey. Okay, so it is important that even each and every one of us here, if, whether you're a developer, whether you are actually uh, someone, a potential client who is now looking into um, engaging their service for Magento, and I'd like to actually introduce you this person. And he is a business, he's a business coach. He's also like me. My other business is actually a business coach. I help businesses to grow their business as well. And same thing, uh, uh, Vassal Shah is also a business coach and he's also the board of director. He sits in the board of directors for Magento Association. So this guy, I had a chance to meet him last night for a casual drink and I learned a lot about him very charismatic, very interesting. And of course, you know, he, he holds a lot of power in addressing a lot of growth issues for, for any tech companies. So he has up to today, 200, he has already, he's already mentored and also coached 223 managing directors or founders of businesses. So he came with a wealth of experience. Of course, he's a tech big guy and he's also very knowledgeable in creating strategy for businesses as well. So today, he's going to be touching on the topic about why do you need to join the community of Magento Association? Because there is power behind it and there is, of course, a lot of value comes with it. So, and can I introduce to you the owner of Pragmatic Consultancy, Mr. Vassal Shah. Come give him a round of applause. Yes. Thank you, Gloria. You're most welcome. It was an uh, interesting introduction. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for being at Meet Major Singapore. Uh, before I begin, I want to ask you guys that how many of you are attending this sixth time? Oh, me and RV? I think Shushma also. Okay. <laughs> how many of you are attending this is fifth time? Please stand up. Four times? Three times? Second time and first time. All of you, thank you for being here. I welcome you all on the behalf of Magento Association and Dinosis. Uh, RV has been kind to host this event every year. This is the sixth edition, and every year he gave me some chance to present some, you know, express myself here in the different roles, maybe in panel, maybe as a speaker, maybe as a host. Uh, so last year I was hosting here, and today Gloria is doing the same. One thing connect all of us here is this orange heart. Though it is said that our heart is of red color, which we have understood in the movies and uh, maybe in the emojis, but the people who are here, many people bleed and breathe orange. Uh, so what all I do is immaterial when it, when it comes to a Magento community. So I am one of the only Asian or who is board of directors at Magento Association. And today I'm going to talk how it operates, what is the values uh, of Magento Association, why it stands for, and what all we can do for Magento community across the globe. So if you look at this number, this is the number of Southeast Asia. I just went on LinkedIn and searched how many people have Magento or Magento developer as a keyword in the profile. So number is 44,000. And after that, LinkedIn search got exhausted. If I write Adobe Commerce, it is 3,600 plus people. Who are these guys? And this is a number of 12th August. So it's not the old number. It is a recent number, which I took captured last weekend. 
So if you look at this and connect that with the build width, we can see that it is the third largest platform used for the commerce. And for that, we all feel great. And this is thanks to you guys. Cheer up for yourself, man. And when we look at an events, which is Magento, Meet Magento events, it's always overwhelming response, whether it is in India, it is in Singapore, Bangladesh, Indonesia, and different places. Who are these people? So these people are the users, these people are merchants, these people are developers, contributors, Magento lovers, passionate about open source and tech partners. We have a couple of people sitting here who has been supporting Magento since long. So I know Joe since long, it's a, since 2012 or 13. And uh, she has been super active in Magento open source ecosystem. Similarly, many people sitting here. I would say many people have made their fortune using Magento. Not only fortunes, build agencies. And I would say millions of dollars, which includes merchants, which includes D2C, B2C brands, which includes wholesalers, which includes tech agencies and SIs. What MA does? So when you look at Magento Association, it has a core purpose of advancing and empowering global Magento community. And the core pillar we work for is collaboration, education, and thought leadership. Surprisingly, we have only 3,600 members there, and the paid member is 208. It's a sad but the truth. But these people are diversified across 68 countries, and this number is dropping. And that's where I am here to say some things to you. Four pillars of Magento Association comprises of developer training, content, events, and open collaboration, and doing something around Magento open source. So this Meet Magento events are approved and governed, or you can say licensed by Magento Association, which we have been visiting. Apart from that, there are a lot of things around open source roadmap, developers training, facilitation, content. It used to be great earlier, but now it's dropping. And I'm saying, when I'm saying so, I'm really sad about it because we all wish this to grow further. So how does it work? So many people asked me a question yesterday, what MA does and what is the role of MA? And why you got interested in becoming a director there? So you look at this large community. This is, they need some representation with Adobe. So this unit has board members, different committees for content, events, open source roadmap, and many more. We have full-time team members, like Matthias sitting here. And we are the one who volunteer as a board. And then there is a huge community which is behind us, who love Magento and cheer us everywhere. What we need is the two things, to survive further. Survival is the right word here. To survive further and make it bigger and larger, we need sponsorships and members. We also want people to contribute into different community uh, uh, events. We also want people to work on community council where you can decide what is to be made next or which PR has to be you know, accepted first and prioritizing this pool. I think one of our friends who is also in the board, Ritesh, and Parul is actively managing this with help of Matthias. What are our current priorities? So when we look at AMA, we are working with the Adobe representatives to look at what could be budget open source governance and how it can be better. Uh, we are working with the committee so that this kind of events happens everywhere and we can pull out more content. We are trying to bring back what we miss as Magento.com, or I would say not Magento.com, but some content around Magento, and where open source people can be listed, but still it is in talks. We have to enhance a paid membership of MA so that this momentum survives on Earth, and rather thrives in future. And we may be bringing Magento Awards back, which was the glorified awards for everyone, like masters. and. Uh, Magento partner awards across the globe. We are trying to do all this, and we are trying to raise funds as well. 
as Sushma said, uh, these are the upcoming events. You will see me in Indonesia as well. But there I would have a different role than welcoming and giving you MA remarks. But please attend this and support our fellow members who are putting a lot of effort in hosting MA events. Here I am asking you for help, and I'll keep it straight. Uh, we want you guys, or many of you guys, to support and become a paid member. You can contribute to content. You can join and host Magento events. You can host meetups, and you can ask for the rights for the same. You can volunteer in different committees, and you can become Magento Association sponsor. I want Matthias to come here with me. He is my colleague at MA. You're my boss, no, I'm not your boss. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is working. Uh, yeah. So why we need your support? Just let me finish, and then I'll ask him to share some things. Uh, we need your support because if you don't, who else will? So if you look at the number, which is 44,000 plus 3,600, which is around 48,000 people in Asia doing something around Magento, if they don't support, who else will? And if you just contribute even $1 a month or maybe $5 a month, which is a membership fees, it will help survive this, bring back Magento content, bring back membership, awards, larger and bigger events, and many more things. Matthias, please share. Okay, so hi everyone. Um, this is the first time for me in at Meet Magento Singapore. It's not my first time in Singapore, but in, in, in this setting. So um, what, what really helps us um, right now, as Vassal already put out, is having developers on the community council so that we can get some governance back into the code contributions. Adobe is dedicated to still go on with the open source mentality and get more stuff fixed. And this is not just about bug fixing, right? So we're not looking for free bug fixing people because that would just be preposterous. But it's also about new features, new functionality. We want to work together with people. Um, we need tremendous help in the committees right now because there's a ton of work. Um, and I'm doing that, well, effectively solo. <laughs> yeah, he's our chief everything <laughs> officer. Yeah. So um, I'm, I'm doing everything from strategy down to making sure there's coffee in the morning. <laughs> so basically, like the <laughs> full 360 degree thing. Um, and uh, I'm very interested to get in touch with as many people as I can to get as many viewpoints as I can. I myself come from a background in content management, but also open source. But I really like to understand the challenges and the interests and what, what drives people in Southeast Asia, um, because I will be traveling all over the globe for the other things, because I need also the holistic perspective in order to inform our future strategy moving on. So feel free to walk up to me. Um, let's talk. Vatsal's here too, to answer basically any questions that you have. And uh, well, yeah. I think if you have any questions about open source, not now, but maybe in the breaks, or you can catch up both of us in the daytime that where we are heading as open source, you can ask all good, bad, ugly questions, and we will try to be honest and straight and answering you. But the important thing is, uh, if this is the largest community on earth about Magento, we need your support. And without your support, this cannot take ahead. So signing off uh, as a welcome remark, I welcome all of you. Uh, I know it is not that motivating talk we did, but yeah, this is where we are. And uh, to survive further, or to thrive further in open source community, we need your help. So these are my credentials. Uh, you can ask uh, any questions on the message as well. And today I will have some interesting talk as well where I will be actually on my profession. I will be hosting a panel in the evening time with Accenture, uh, Adobe, and NSS team. Uh, so see you there. It will be the largest talk show of the day. So see you there. Thank you, guys. Thanks.